Welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. And today I'm going to talk about the objections that I've normally been getting from the mainstream academics. Uh, most of them have been about the new calculus derivative because <laughs> they simply don't seem to be able to get past it, uh, at least not at any rate, um, so that they can study the uh, the new calculus integral. So in this video, I'd like to cover some of those objections. Hopefully most of the uh, ones that come up uh, a lot of the time. So let's begin. So the derivative, how is it defined? The new calculus derivative is defined this way, okay? so. Um, and what does this mean here? Well, let's see very quickly what it means. Uh, the derivative or the slope of the tangent line, this blue, light blue tangent line, is found by finding the slope of any one of the many parallel secant lines. So f of x plus n uh, is uh, uh, found by this point here, and f of x minus m, this point, and m is a distance between the point of tangency and one end point of the secant and n the other distance and you have to have them in this order in the definition you can for example make the silly mistakes that most academics make thinking that you can <clears throat> switch them around that's not possible <clears throat> they have a special relationship this distance is related to this distance for every continuous and smooth cu curve in calculus that's probably something you didn't know but now you know it. And so anyway, this uh, derivative of the tangent line or the slope is found by any of the slope of these many parallel secant lines and nothing is approaching anything here. Okay, now that's the definition. We could look at the proof. <clears throat> what I suggest you do here is I suggest you press your pause button and read through the proof because I'm not gonna have time to go through all of those six points. But what I show you there is that everything I'm doing is very systematic and logical. There is no assumption, there is no reverse engineering or anything of the sort. So I suggest you click the pause button now, expand your YouTube screen so that you can read it easier and study the proof. And if you have any questions, you can ask me in the YouTube comment section. Now, the objections are as follows. The first objection is this. Uh, in your proof, you state that this must be zero because, you know, the tangent line slope does not depend on m on, on, on m or n, and the sum of all the terms in m and n must be zero. Therefore, the expression must be equal to k. And you say, well, why can't you do this in the new calculus? Well, <laughs> simply because k plus h is not the slope of the tangent line and never is the slope of the tangent line. This is only possible if you're looking at the new calculus. Okay, so let's see a demo. So the slope of this pink second secant line is never equal to the slope of the blue tangent line. Okay, never. Doesn't matter what you do. But in the new calculus, it is equal to the slope of the light blue line always so you can see the slopes here 4.96 is the slope of the tangent line and 2.48 and obviously this is always correct because it's a correct slope the second objection is that uh, the method uses limits no nothing with nothing here happens with limits uh, there are no lines approaching any other lines and if hypothetically these so-called parallel lines did approach the point of tangency then there would be no slope, okay? So the new calculus is rigorous. It doesn't have any monkey business like your normal mainstream calculus. And of course, if we set this trace, you'll see. Now, why doesn't that work? Okay, set the trace. <laughs> For some reason, whenever you're demonstrating something. All right, well, anyway, the trace was supposed to show you uh, that all these lines are here, see? doesn't matter where you are, they're always there. Nothing's approaching anything else. Okay, so um, for some reason this isn't working and I'm not going to waste my time on it. 
but let's just set the trace off quickly there. Okay, so that takes care of that objection because you can't have this parallel line degenerating into a point. Objection three, what is being used? So always, if you're looking at the derivative, you're looking at this finite difference quotient, which is always correct at 3.26. Then you say, well, what happens if you get to the point of tangency? Well, then you're using that definition, aren't you? Because at the point of tangency, if you look at the proof early on, you'll see that it's been proved that this expression here, which is also called the auxiliary equation when it's set to zero, is always zero. Okay, so you're not actually using the uh, the fake derivative as you do the fake finite difference as you do in the mainstream calculus. There's no such thing. And Mr. Gabriel, you're dividing by zero. No, there is never division by zero. Not even when that happens. Why? Because none of these secant lines uh, have an mm pair that is zero, zero. Otherwise, it would be a point, wouldn't it? Okay, so then we'll get to another objection which is connected to this in just a little while. And this uh, objection here is, was made recently by somebody on a, a forum who took five years to understand that the new calculus derivative is sound <laughs> because it just shows you what the effect of brainwashing can do to an engineer and many other people. Uh, none of my assumptions, none of my assumptions here assume anything about the derivative except that the slope of the tangent line, this light blue line, is equal to any of the many parallel secant lines, okay? So no reverse engineering. Now, uh, the next objection here is, how do we know there is a term without m or n? Well, this is the proof. There are basically two reasons. k does not depend on m or m, and it can be proved that m plus n is a factor of every term in the numerator. It's a real factor if you believe in real numbers. Okay, so it will cancel out with every term in the numerator. And the final objection is this. Um, why is it that setting all the terms in m and zero, in m and n to zero is equivalent to obtaining the derivative here at the point? Because simply this, this expression here is always zero. So it has the same effect. That means you can, after you reach this particular point here, as we saw in objection two, or I think it was objection three, you can at this point here set m and n is equal to zero because it's been proven that q uh, q is uh, it, q of x m n is equal to zero. Okay, so that was objection six. And what you could do is pause on any of these slides again to see the proofs so that you can uh, get a good idea of what I'm talking about. And so finally. In, uh, let's just get rid of that, yeah. In mathematics, that's your mainstream calculus. This is the, uh, def it's not really a definition. I call it a very definition because you're really verifying. You're guessing some number L and you must, if, if you don't believe that you're guessing it, well then how else will you find it if you don't perform this illegal arithmetic in your bogus calculus where you divide by H and then you set H to zero. And as I showed you in one of the objections, you can do that in the new calculus, but not in your bogus calculus, okay? And why, you ask? And I, I think I told you why, because this is always zero. And if we look over here, uh, the slope of the pink secant line, slope of the pink secant line is never equal to the slope of the uh, blue tangent line. And this, this means this slope here of this secant line, let's make this bigger like that slope of this secant line is never equal to that. But in the new calculus, the slope of this red secant line is always equal to the slope of the tangent line. All right? So, I think we've covered most of the objections, and you'll see a lot of very highly stupid academics on the internet telling me that, you know, my, uh, my derivative is wrong and that my calculus is wrong. Well, actually, it turns out that there's something very dysfunctional about their brains, and you can't uh, teach uh, an old monkey new tricks in this case and they're all old monkeys and even the young uh, students who are graduates who have been rolled off the university production line are all a fine bunch of idiots this is very unfortunate 
Now, <clears throat> I'd like you to study the new calculus, and if you have any questions, only questions, please, ask them in the comment section. I'm not interested in your ideas. Uh, if, you have, if you think there's a flaw, state it, and I'll address it. But don't give me an attitude, because then I'll simply ignore you, and I will not publish your comment. So, I hope you've enjoyed this little presentation. My name is John Gabriel, and this is a new calculus channel. Till next time, goodbye.